It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we've got ourselves a Super Bowl 20 rematch. It's the Chicago Bears and the New England Patriots, and it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 25. Halfway between Boston and Providence, it's the home of the Patriots, Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, partner. A couple of teams that were cellar dwellers a year ago, but as we've seen being around the league for a while, man, that can change one season to the next. And how often do we see, Mike, a team that finished at the bottom of their division just a year later be the division champion? I'm not suggesting that it's easy or necessarily that these two teams are going to find themselves in that position. But the NFL is made up of a formula that says you don't have to stay long forever. If you make the right decisions, you can go from worst to first very quickly. We are about set for some football, and it's Joey Sly to kick things off. And off we go from Foxborough. DeAndre Carter on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The Bears come out with their quarterback, Caleb Williams. All of Chicago hoping this is the man who can finally answer that long search for a franchise quarterback for the Bears. He won the Heisman. He's the number one overall pick in this past year's draft. The term generational talent. Mike, it gets thrown around. I feel a little bit too loosely these days, but you could argue if there's one guy worthy of that description, it's Williams. I mean, only time's going to tell how accurate it is, but when you watch him play, it becomes abundantly clear. This guy has everything you want in a franchise quarterback. The arm talent's obvious, but it's the ability to make those off-script plays right in the midst of chaos that make him such an interesting prospect. You know what the best part is, though, Mike, really? We get a first-hand look to see exactly how he's developing over these next couple hours. He'll try again here. Second and ten. Now the free agent signee from Philadelphia. It's DeAndre Swift. What can they do here on third down and seven? To throw, it's Williams. That'll be caught by DeAndre Swift. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss... He picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision to make. And a fair catch is taken. And is just inside the 20-yard line. The New England offense getting ready to go to work here. They're going to be let out by their veteran signal caller out of NC State. It's Jacoby Brissett. Whenever he comes in the game, you know exactly what you're going to get. He may not be one of the ultra-talented superstars or anything like that at the quarterback position, but he's a reliable presence in the huddle. He brings a lot of stability to this role, and he is capable of doing his job well and more than giving your team a fighting chance. Brissett going to open with a pass. Hauled in by the tight end, Henry. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. Here's second and six. Now the man side from Washington, it's Antonio Gibson. And nothing cooking on that one. He'll be met and tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Anytime the running back is forced to chop his feet in the background and never get to top speed, you know that play's not going anywhere. That's exactly what the defense was able to force here by getting penetration. Great job there stopping this play before he had a chance to even get started. On third down, they'll throw with Brissett. Sending it deep. 
looking for Osborne. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast, and tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing, and even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. The Bears offense ready to get going with their second possession. They'll search for the first point of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. This drive will begin with a run by Swift. He'll get about two. Jawan Bentley there on the tackle. Second down and eight. They'll go play action here with Williams. He bought all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. Looked like a pass protection breakdown. They had five offensive linemen and a running back in the backfield. I promise you, somebody was assigned to that linebacker, but he timed the blitz perfectly. He ran through and was able to bring him down for a big sack. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. That's caught! It's the tight end, Komet! And he's out of bounds, but they're going to spot this inside the 25. A big-time play for the Bears. It's a gain of 43 yards. This defense just gets punched in the mouth on that one, Mike, and it just seemed from up here that not everyone on defense was on the same page, and the offense was able to take advantage of it. The defense has to clean things up here in a hurry, because if they don't, they could be in for a long day. Uh, give up the middle with Swift. He's taken down just shy of the 10. And for the second straight offseason, it's kind of hard to believe Mike Swift kind of finds himself in a new place every year. This time it's with Chicago. Just a year ago, over 1,000 yards rushing, and... He's going to be looking to build off that last year's success. On first down, they give it right back to Swift. And he'll take this down to about the eight. Here's a handoff to Swift. He'll turn this into a gain of about four. It's going to lead to third down. Now Williams. It is brought in in the end zone. Heenan. Touchdown, Bears. But you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession, too. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Now Cairo Santos to add the point after. He's got it. And the Bears will take a 7-0 lead.
Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Jones now on the return. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The Patriots offense about ready to get going on their second possession. They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7-0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. Reset. That's complete to Ramondre Stevenson out of the backfield. And he's going to be taken down at the 37. One quarter in the books. It's the Bears off to the early lead. And we're back to Foxborough in a moment. Line of scrimmage is the 37-yard line for first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. Open man, Demario Douglas. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest gain. Here's a second and six. Operating from the gun is Brissett. That one taken in by Douglas. And they'll have it across midfield down at the opposing 46-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. Man, what a big time play here by the corner. It feels like he knew that play was coming before the ball was even snapped. You can see he sticks his foot in the ground and bursts. He ends that play before it even has a chance to get started. He's got his big tight end, Henry. A pickup of 12 yards. Good for a Patriots first down. Now this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays. And these drag routes can be very, very effective. Look at the three tight ends here on first and 10. They'll run, and this is Ramondre Stevenson. And he'll work his way down inside the 30. Chewing off seven yards on that one. Second down, and three. Open man is Osborne. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Working out of the gun, here's Brissett. Going over the middle, this one is complete. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal. 
He'll be taken down at the seven yard line. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. Two minutes remain. First half in a 7-0 game. We're back to Foxborough after this. Here's another shot from the six at second and goal. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand, so it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. Third and goal. We're set. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Teams practice these situations all week long, Mike. Down here in the tight red zone, you find yourself inside the 10-yard line. You're thinking, we've got to come away with a touchdown. Well, after that third down incomplete, it's going to be real interesting to see how they approach this fourth down after failing on third. Sly's kick is good. And the Patriots are on the board just before halftime. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there, but I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Valus Jones now on the return. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The veteran Keenan Allen and the rest of the Bears offense heading out to take over once again. Philippe sits at four. So he'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Williams. That's to the number nine overall pick, Romo Dunze. And a big strike for good yardage there all the way up to midfield. This is such a critical moment in the game, that middle four minutes, the final two minutes of the first half, and then the possession to come out of the halftime break. So maximizing this possession here before halftime is critical. See if you can get a drive starter. See if you can get an easy completion to kickstart a two-minute mode. And that's what they got here. Now they got to see if they can go down and steal some points. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. They go right back to Allen. He's got it again. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. You find yourself in these two-minute drills, Mike. They're pretty critical moments in the game. They go a long way to deciding the outcome. So it makes a lot of sense. You start looking for your top target, and he comes through for him there. Williams to the air once more. Here's a screen taken in by Swift. Give him 13 on that screenplay and a first down. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early. That'll be intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Jabril Peppers. And a nice return there. He is out of bounds right at midfield. 
It's not often, Mike, that everything breaks right for this type of return off of an interception. But boy, is it beautiful when it does. I mean, look at the defenders just flip around and become blockers, trying to spring their guy to the house. Great athleticism, some great moves on his part. I mean, he's going to have some of his offensive teammates looking over their shoulder for their position. The Patriots offense going to see what they can do in the final minute of this first half. They'll start with great field position right at midfield with a first down. Now it's percent has completed to Douglas. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. To throw is Bursette. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Here in the first half, we've seen nothing but connections from these two guys. I mean, they've come out completely on fire. So the defense finally gets a stop. And really the first time we've seen these guys be a little bit off. He'll try to run for it. New England going to take their second timeout. The clock is stopped for 26 seconds until the break. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Here is Brissett. That's going to be intercepted. Picked off by T.J. Edwards. So not a lot of yards on the return, Mike, but that's okay. The number one thing, end up with the ball in your hands. And in this case, mission accomplished, and his guys are headed off the field to celebrate. LeBear's offense going to get it one last time here late in the opening half. They'll do so with first and ten. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Here's second and three to go. Williams. That is left side and taken in by Allen. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. Here's Williams on first and 10. That's over the middle and taken in by Odunze. And now a timeout. Seven seconds left in this first half. They'll come up here on second down and five. To throw it again. It's Williams. They go sideline, and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. 13 yards on that one. Move the sticks. 
It's a first down. On now, it's Cairo Santos for the field goal. This one from 54 yards out. Santos's kick is good. And the Bears go out to a 10-3 lead. So, we have reached halftime, and the visiting Bears are in front. As we get you down to Florida, Orlando specifically, where the coach is, Jonathan Coachman, has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go and the second half is underway. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Pates offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. Just the lone field goal for them so far. Down 10-3 in this one. And they'll start first and 10. Brissett going to throw. He's got Douglas going deep. And that is incomplete. Pretty unforgettable performance so far in the first half, Mike. And they're going to try to figure this out here in the second half and try to gain some momentum. Figure out what's going to work, where are our matchups, and let's go try to put a drive together and get some points because so far this has been a struggle and they just cannot get anything going through the air. Balled in by the tight end, Henry. He'll get about six before he's taken down. Here's a third down and four. Osborne, the man on the move. Third and short yardage. It's per set. 15 yards through the air. First down, New England. Nice job there, getting the ball to your slot receiver and then letting him get to work. It's a nice feeling as a quarterback when you can just have a short throw still result in a big game. First and 10. Keeping it in the air. Here's Brissett. There's Osborne with the grab. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Osborne, the man on the move. Throwing again, Brissett. Quick throw, taken in. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room, and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances. You can push the ball downfield, but not only to pick up a couple yards. You got to pick your chances of when you want to be aggressive and you got to make sure you make better decisions going forward. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. We've seen this trend throughout the league, Mike. Offensively, everyone wants to have depth at the running back position. Yeah, it's great to have one guy, but if you could have two or three that could all come in and contribute on the ground, that's the goal, and we're seeing it here. Now Brissett throwing on first and ten. Here's second and two. 
from the shotgun. It's Brissett. That one taken in by Douglas. This drive's going to continue. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. It's the tight end, Henry, in motion. And they'll run it here with Stevenson. And that's a productive run. He gets this one down to the four. Inside the five, it is second and goal. Operating from the gun is Brissett. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. So instead of celebrating a touchdown, he's just heading back to his huddle trying to keep his head up as everyone kind of looks at him sideways. If that ball hits your hands at this level, you've just got to make the catch. That's what your quarterback's counting on. That's what your teammates are counting on. Frankly, that's what this entire stadium is counting on. To the goal line and in to Mario Douglas. Touchdown, Patriots. Joey Sly on now for the point after. He gets it to go, and the Patriots will tie things up. It's now 10 to 10. So back to level after the touchdown in time for the kickoff. Carter on the return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Bears offense getting ready for their opening possession of this second half. They'll see if they can go about breaking our tie. We're all even at 10 as this drive begins first and 10. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. On the out, connecting with Allen. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. They will run it over center with Swift. And they'll have it across midfield down at the opposing 46-yard line. Second and short. Normally, this is a great time, Mike, to put the ball in the air and try to press the ball downfield. But in this case, they keep it on the ground. It has a similar effect. They pick up a good gain and a first down. They'll go play action here with Williams. That is into the hands of Allen downfield. And he will be taken down. A big pickup on what will be the final play of this third quarter. So points at a premium. Defensive battle so far as we are through three. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They're at the 17-yard line now for first and 10. They'll stick to the ground. And that'll be a pickup of three. So 
Second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. The Bears are going to be set up with a first and goal. It's a nice run there. It gets them down to the six. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. From the shotgun, it's Williams. And he's going to be down close to the goal line. Good job defensively to make sure he did not get to the end zone. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times, and then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard. Now, for him individually, not ideal, but right now they're... And that big offensive line, clearing space. He's in. DeAndre Swift, touchdown Chicago. Greg, every touchdown counts the same, but... The ones you get in the fourth quarter, they are the ones that feel a little more important. Yeah, now that pressure shifts to your defense, your offense was able to go out and get the lead here late. Does your defense have enough left in them to get one more stop? On is Santos for the PAT. It's up and good. And the Bears go up by seven. It is now 17 to 10. So the lead is seven now here in this fourth quarter. The tie has been broken. Let's see what happens on this kickoff. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. So now the New England offense getting ready for their next possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Reset. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. We'll try again. It's second and 10. Play fake to Stevenson. Now Brissett. He's got his big tight end, Henry. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play-action passing game, and you can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass, and he's able to pick up a nice gain to his tight end. They'll run here. And the Patriots ready to kick it away. They'll be forced to punt trailing here in the fourth quarter now a fair catch and it's going to be a long field they'll take over right about their own 13 the Bears offense ready to come back out for this next possession they'll begin inside their own 15 yard line so a lot of real estate to cover it's first and ten Yeah. 
Williams on the RPO, going to get it out to Odunze. And a good one here. He'll be marked down up past the 25-yard line. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super concerned. Just hand off right, hand off left, and it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock out. And a good job following his blockers, a gain of seven. It'll be second down. Another run here, another run by Swift. And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. And now we're going to time out by the defense. So the clock stops with a minute 50 left in the game. A couple of first downs has them out to the 45-yard line as it's first and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's a give to Swift. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. the give it's swift and that one shut down pretty quickly he'll get back to the line of scrimmage nothing more well that second down play call is not real fancy but at this point mike they're in a battle with the clock how much time can they run off and try to protect this lead but now it brings up a pretty interesting third down can they keep the ball and finish this thing on offense or are they going to have to punt it away and have their defense finish the game they'll drop to throw Complete. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front. The Bears send out their punk team as they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. They will get away from that one. And they're going to have tremendous field position. This ball hits and goes out of bounds. The Patriots' offense make their way out to take over once more. They'll begin with first down from their own 11. Working out of the gun, here's Brissett. Sending it deep, looking for Osborne. That is knocked away, incomplete. Good coverage there defensively all over him. And it'll be second down. I'm not going to sit here, Mike, and throw the guy a parade for ultimately what was an incompletion, but can we just take a second to appreciate the arm strength he was able to show there? I mean, I think that ball is over 60 yards in the air, and I would be surprised if they continue to just air it out and see if they can complete one of those. Got a man open downfield on the crossing route. And they're going to move the ball all the way up to the 45-yard line. I love these crossing routes, Mike. Not only do they put so much stress into the deep layers of the defense, but they really allow the wide receivers to run with the ball after the catch. We see so much of that trending in the NFL where you want to get your receivers the ball in space, on the move. You just saw a great example why and it led to a huge chunk play. A great pass rush is like a closer in baseball. When you bring them into the game, it's all but over. That's exactly the case here. It doesn't result necessarily in a sack, but it was the hit that altered the throw just enough to end that play before it started. 
To the air again is Brissett. That is incomplete. So the task gets more difficult. Time for maybe two plays. That's it. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. That'll be incomplete. And now we are down to likely just one more play. I just don't like the look of this passing game, Mike. It just seems a bit erratic. On top of the two straight incompletions, they've already turned the ball over through the air. And truthfully, with how dangerous some of these throws have been, they're lucky it hasn't been even more. He'll let this go deep for the end zone. And that is incomplete. They took the end zone shot of the final play. It's a heartbreaking finish. And this one will come to an end. So this one, a win for the visiting Bears. They're able to get the job done in front of a hostile crowd as they come away with the victory. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. Good night from Foxborough.